Hey, I'm Nate with CNET, and today we're talking about the T-Mobile 768. It's a $72 flip phone that's going to be best for folks on a tight budget. We'll start with the good things, um, call quality. It's pretty good, actually. I know I tried the phone out in San Francisco and in parts of Oakland, and the call quality was always pretty good. You could always, you know, hear people clearly, and people, whether I was talking to people, you know, in the Bay Area or on the East Coast, they said, you know, they could hear me clearly. And that's pretty much kind of the, at least, there was a time when that was the primary purpose for a smartphone, but we'll get to that in a minute. The phone also has an FM radio, which I thought was a pretty cool addition, and it supports up to 32 gigs of micro SD storage in an expandable slot right underneath the battery. So that's also really great if you want to carry your own music around. Unfortunately, that's pretty much all that's great about the phone. The keypad, for example, uses old school T9 texting, which makes send things like sending text messages or emails a kind of a miserable experience, which is not that great because the phone does offer 3G connectivity and there is a web browser, it, it runs the Opera Mini web browser. So while you can technically get online and check your email and things like that with the phone, because of the keypad, you aren't really ever gonna want to. There's a two megapixel camera, but it's a pretty terrible camera, and the video camera is also pretty terrible. But here's the thing, it's a $72 phone. On one of T-Mobile's cheapest plans, you get unlimited talk and text, and no data caps and no contract to sign for 40 bucks a month. That means over the course of two years, you're spending about 43 bucks a month for unlimited talking and unlimited testing, I guess. I wouldn't recommend texting on this phone, but if you're looking to spend relatively little on a phone just so you can keep in touch with your family and your friends, you just want to make voice calls, and you don't really care about apps or browsing the internet or sending lots of emails or things like that, the T-Mobile 768 actually isn't a terrible deal. I'm Nate Ralph. Thanks for watching.